<coughs> excuse me, three, two, one. Yo, what's happening guys, it's your boy Wolfie here, we are back now, a bit of a special day on YouTube, my first ever time doing a double upload, if the first thing you could do, of course, on this video, is hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that bell so you get a notification every time I do drop a video, but, you know me, I do drop a video every day at 11am UK time, but today... We've got a little double upload. And the reason being is because the BPL team of the season is upon us. What I'm going to do in this video, like I did for the community in the NFL last week, I'm going to break down each team of the season card and tell you how much I would pay for it and if the value is worth it and if these foot champs worthy, okay? So getting straight into it, Marcus Rashford. He's coming in at around about... Bearing in mind, I'm recording this straight away on Friday night. So at the moment, on Xbox, he is 845 grand, okay? Five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. He does have a foot birthday card, which has five star five stars if you're gonna play rashford up front i would probably recommend buying the foot birthday card instead but look at this car he's in games man 94 acceleration 99 sprint speed look at those shooting stats man the shooting stats are a lot better than the foot birthday card but the five star weak foot compared to the three star weak foot on the team of the season is a lot more desirable as a striker this card will be insane because of the three star weak foot i would probably pay about 500 grand for this card tops Maybe 600, but you got to remember this is the BPL, so you do pay a bit of a premium. Rashford's best position, I think, would be as a striker or a ram or a lamb in a 4 2 3 1, or a right mid or left mid in a 4 4 2. This card looks insane. I would 100%, I'd love to use him because you know me, I like to use skill moves and stuff like that. Next, we have Jordan Henderson, who is coming in at 600 grand. Three star, three star, high, high work rates. I think this card as a CDM would be insane because the reason being. 3 star, 3 star, you don't really need to use the skill moves and stuff on a card that's a CDM. So the 3 star, 3 star thing is re isn't really an issue as a CDM. And this card's in-game. He's also 6 foot with high, high work rates. I don't really care about work rates, but I know a lot of people do. But having said that, look at the dribbling stats. He'll feel really good on the ball. Good ball control, good composure, really good stamina. His defending stats are incredible as well. I think this card is a CDM. Would be absolutely insane. 100% recommend him. I'll probably pay... He's coming in at 600 grand. I'll probably pay about 400 for him. 600 is probably about a fair price, if I'm being real. It's probably what I'd pay for a card with them stats. And then Robinson, I'm not going to go too much into detail because he does have a team of the year. He's coming in at 340 grand right now on, um, on Xbox. Insane card. Probably the best left back in the game. But... He's nearly identical to his team of the year, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with him. Richarlison, wow, this card, man. He's coming in at the moment as at 1.3 on Xbox. Five-star week for four-star skill. He probably doesn't deserve the team of the season, if I'm being real. But this card looks absolutely insane, man. 100% recommend him. As a striker or a ram or a lamb or a cam, anywhere. He can play anywhere along the front line. And coming in at 1.3, I'd probably pay about the 1.3. With them stats, and because he's BPL, and because he's Brazilian, so linked to Neymar and stuff like that. 1.3 is probably a, a fair price for him. I would buy him for that. Obviously, I'm not a trader, so don't take my word for gospel. If he goes down, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But 1.3 milli is probably what I'd pay for him. Because of the weak foot, he makes him really meta. Really good card. Even though he probably doesn't deserve it, Richardson's really good. Next, we got Kovacic. High, high work rates, 5 foot 9, 4 star, 4 star. He's coming in right now. I think he's one of the cheapest. At 180 grand. 180 grand for this card is actually really good value. Considering he's high, high, I'd play him as a CDM. And the reason by it being with 180 grand, look at the agility and balance and ball control and dribbling. This card on the ball, in mainly in particular, like on the ball, he will feel insane. So because of that, I would 10 out of 10 recommend this card. I think this card would be one of them cards that. You won't really go out and buy him, but if, say you get him red in your team of the season rewards on Thursday, you'll be like, yo, that's actually sick. I'm going to use him. Does that make sense? But having said that, 180 grand's about right. I'd probably pay probably pay 180 grand flat. Genuinely, I'd actually pay that for that card. 100%. But having said that, yeah, good card, but not one you want from the SBC. You kind of get where I'm coming from. <laughs> now, wan is coming in at 350 grand at the time recording this. Six foot, medium high work rate. Unbelievable right back. Probably, in my opinion now, the best right back on the game. Maybe Headliner Semedo is overtaking him a little bit. But this card, mainly because of the medium high work rate as well. As an actual fullback, I don't think you can get much better than that. In terms of like 
a full back that defends. Not a right back that's good going forward because he's not the greatest going forward, but he does have really good agility and dribbling, so I think he'll feel nice on the ball. And he's six foot as well, so he's one of them players that will like fight for the badge, if that makes sense. And by the way, I'm really hot. I'm going to have to take my uh, bloody bomber jacket off because I'm sweating. But yeah, he's one of them players that I think will be like a 10 out of 10 player. Especially, he's one of them players that if you get in a red pick, you'd be like really happy. He's coming in at 350 grand. I'd pay that. I genuinely would pay that. A lot of these BPL cards aren't really like overpriced. I thought they'd be a lot more expensive than what they are. Now, Adama Traore, as of recording this video, man. Four star, three star. Unbelievable. This is a card that will tear you apart. You can only really play him as a right mid because of the weak foot or like a ram in a 4-2-3 one. He's not going to be a good striker because of the low finishing. The shot power will make up for the finishing, though. That's one thing I will say. But... The agility, the balance, this card will be rapid. 100% recommend to buy him. For 500 grand, I'd buy him purely just because of how good his screen card was. Like, don't be scared to use a Dharma Triori, man. He's an absolute beast of a card. Now, Soyuncho coming in 140 grand. Looks like a solid card. One of the best centre backs you can get from the BPL, but. Does anyone else feel like they've really undervalued him a little bit? I feel like Soyuncho should be worth a lot more. Like, in terms of he should have a better card than that. Soyuncho for me. Probably been the best centre-back in the league this season in, in the BPL. Like, took Leicester to the Champions League, although no one knows what's happening at the moment because of COVID. But, like, I just feel like he should be out of a bet. He should have, like, a 92, 93 rated card. Easy, man. But 100%, this card looks a joke, man. He'd be, like, him next to Van Dijk in terms of, like, the BPL pairing would be sick. But he's not as good as Joe Gomez, and that is a fact. So that's why his value is coming in under 40 grand. I'd buy that card for under 40 grand, though. Absolute beast of a card. Henderson, I'm not going to go too much into detail. The worst of the worst, but... Probably be a good card, but all keepers are the same on FIFA, aren't they, really? Unless they're to Stegen, they're not the best, really. So, not my cup of tea. And that leads me on to Allison next. Like what I've just said, probably really good card. He's coming in at, um, how much is he? He is 190 grand. The same rating, or I think, or is he one better than his team of the year? Unless he's to Stegen, ain't going to really be that great. All keepers are the same. Even to Stegen will mess up. At the end of the day, on FIFA, keepers mess up. And that is a big thing that I'm going to say. So whoever you've got in net, they will save something that they shouldn't save. And then they'll let in something they should save. So at the end of the day, I wouldn't really rate him. Trent, I'm not going to go into too much detail with Trent. He's coming in at 440 grand. The reason being is because like Robertson and Allison, he's already got a team of the year card anyway. But in terms of a fullback, you won't find much of a better right back. I'll tell you what, as a CDM, man, like... This card is an out-and-out -out CDM. It's like a CDM that you want to, like, be your CDM. Not not what I call, like, a ball-playing CDM. A CDM you want to defend. This card would be insane. I probably wouldn't even use him right back. I would use him as a centre mid. Absolute beast of a card. Coming in at 440 grand, I'd pay that. It's about a fair price. Once again, though, he's already got a team of the year card, so... What's that to say? Van Dijk's the same. Already got a team of the year card. I think his team of the year card is actually a little bit better by, like, one plus in every stat, I think. So this team of the year, team of the season, Van Dijk, sorry, is coming in at 2 mil on Xbox flat right now. I use the team of the year card on the pay to win account and highly recommend him. One of the, probably the best centre back on the game. You guys know he'll be good. He is good. I use his team of the year card. Best centre back on the game. Fact. Pay the 2 mil. It's worth it. Now we're moving on to Rehad Mahrez. An interesting one. 965 grand is that? Yeah, 965 grand on Xbox. Wow, this card. This card is a bit of me. Does that make sense? Like, this card is the type of card that I want to use. Five-star skill moves, really high agility, really high balance, really good dribbling and ball control, really good finishing, really good shot power as well, and the long shots, and 99 curve as well, so his finesse shots are going to be filth, man. Absolute filth. Five-star weak foot, no, um, five-star skills, four-star weak foot, medium, medium work rates. You can, I would probably play him up front or as a cam. I'll tell you what, as a central cam, this card would be insane, man. Like, if you play a 4-2-3 one and you're looking for that middle cam, He's a guy. Even as a striker in a 4-4-2, man, he'd be, del he'd be delusional. I would 100% pay the 1 mil coins for him, and he is foot champs worthy, 100%. Hyung Min Son. Coming in at 1.7 million. Six foot, high, high work rates. Five star weak foot. Four star skill moves. This card, man. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this card because me and you and whoever's watching this video, we all know how good this card will be. I don't need to tell you, man. The five-star weak foot, the high attack position in the high finishing, the good shot pad. This card is just going to be mm, nasty, and I really mean nasty, nasty. 
I'd probably say arguably one of the best cards you could probably use on this game as a striker. I would love to get my hands on him. If you get him red in your BPL team of the season rewards or like from the BPL guaranteed team of the season pack, you are laughing to the bank, my friend. I promise you. This card will be 10 out of 10. I thoroughly enjoy him. Then we move on to team of the season of Bamiyan. Coming in at 2 mil flat. High low work rate, 6 foot 2. 4 star, 4 star. I would love to use him. I don't think he'll feel as quick on the ball as like a Amara's will and stuff like that. Just because you see the agility and balance aren't too high. Like, he's got good agility, but the balance. And I say it a lot, okay? I say it a lot on stream. You guys on YouTube probably haven't heard me say it a lot on YouTube. But body types matter on FIFA in terms of how quick they feel. And he, Aubameyang's body type just isn't that suited for a quick player. Like, he's really big and really tall. So, because of that, he won't feel as electric as, like, a Neymar will or as a Mar as well, if that makes sense. But, having said that, I would 100% pay 2 million coins for this card. I would love to use this card. I've always got a soft spot for a Bamiyang. I don't know what. Don't ask me what I just do. So, I'd love to use him. 10 out of 10 recommend him. I would use him as a striker, though, because of the really good finishing and really good shot power. Attack positioning is insane. Good volleys. Really good composure as well. 99 composure. That card, 10 out of 10 recommend. Then we move on to Vardy, okay? Interesting one. Vardy's coming in at a million coins, really. A million coins for this Vardy. I wouldn't pay that because of the three-star skill moves, okay? This card is going to be very one-dimensional. And I say that in terms of four-star is good, okay? So the Weefer's not bad. Really good in games, like really good card. He will feel electric. That's one thing he will feel. But the three star skill moves means he's very one dimensional. You have to do a ball roll to get the ball back onto his right foot to score. He won't feel. He won't be. I wouldn't pay a million coins for him, but like that. I'd probably pay about 500 grand for that card tops. But if you're like a Leicester fan or you're a Vardy fanboy or you're someone that doesn't use skill moves, he'll be a top tier striker for you. So. That's what I'm going to say about him. 99 De Bruyne. What can you say about this card, man? Currently 3.1 million. Jeez, man. Look at them stats. Four-star skill moves. Five-star wheat for high, high work rates. You could honestly play this card anywhere on the pitch. You could play him striker. You could play him cam. You could play him left mid. You could play him right mid. You could play him CDM. Probably even playing bloody centre back. Like, honestly, this card, I, I can't recommend him enough for you. But he's 3 million coins. So, I'm guessing a lot of you watching this video probably won't be able to afford him. I would pay 3 million coins for them stats. He is your Rude Hullet that isn't Rude Hullet. There isn't another Rude Hullet apart from De Bruyne now. Fact. Period. Like, so 100% recommend him. Can't recommend him enough. I actually can't. You know he'll be good. Like, I don't want him to over-exaggerate, but you know he'll be good. Then we move on to Mane. I don't want to go into Mane too much because, again, he's got a Team of the Year card. But the Team of the Season card is better than the Team of the Year, okay? So coming in at 1.6 million on Xbox. 5 foot 9, high medium work rates, 4 star, 4 star. Really, this card, I love the team of the year card. I used the, I used the team of the year card on like the day that he came out on the team of the year attackers and absolutely loved him. I, find, I thought he was like one of the most underrated team of the year cards that there was. But four star, four star is a bit problematic. It is a bit obvious in terms of an attacker. Because I've always said, if they don't have five star skill moves, they need to have five star weave. If they don't have five star weave, they need to have five star skill moves. And when a player is four star, four star, it's always a little bit like, meh. You know, it's not great. It's not. It's it's good, but not great. You know. So would I pay 1.6 million for him? Yes, I would. But just purely for the in games and purely for the fact that he would be insane again with like um, a Bamiyang or like a, a Son. You could play him anywhere. You could play him striker, Lamb, Ram, Cam. You could genuinely play this Marnie card anywhere. Then move on to Aguero, man. This is Aguero. It looks nuts. Aguero is coming in at two million coins. Four star, four star, high, medium, five for eight. Jeez, man. This striker is probably the best striker from the BPL. Man, I'd probably have Son over him, actually. Yeah, I probably would just have Son. And the reason I'd have this Aguero, though, is because of the high balance and really good... At Look at that, man. I mean, I can't recommend that card enough, man. I really can't. I think he'll be one of the best strikers, not even from the BPL, actually. Even on the game at this current moment in time, I think he'll be the best striker. And the reason being is because he's only four-star, four-star, but because of the high agility and the high balance, you'll be able to work the ball back onto his right foot really quickly. So the lack of the weak foot won't really be an issue, if that makes sense. I would I'd buy that card for 2 million coins. I don't think he'll drop below 2 million either. And then last but not least, Mohamed Salah, 97 rated. Coming in at 1.2 million coins. 5 foot 9, high medium, 4 star, 3 star. The weak foot's honking. The problem with this Salah, okay, is he's very one-dimensional. He's very much get the ball onto his left foot and score. The problem being with that is when you play someone that's good at FIFA and they know that you've got a team of the season salad, they are going to know that you're just going to want to put the ball on his left foot. So they're going to mark the right foot. Does that make... Uh, would I pay... Flat out, would I pay 1.2 million coins for that card? I'd pay a mil tops. And the reason being is because of how one-dimensional he is. 
I think he'll be a very good card. He's one of the type of cards that you you can get away with using him as like a left mid or a right mid in a 4-4-2. I wouldn't play him striker because of the three-star weak foot. That is just a no-go for a striker. But having said that, I think he'll still be a very solid card and one of the best attackers on the game, period. Now, that is going to be the end of the video, guys. Oh, well, last but not least, actually, uh, actually we've got the, uh, the SBC, Wilfred and DD. Look at this, man. Unbelievable card. Probably the best CDM from the BPL. 10 out of 10 recommend to do him. I think he's coming in around about 300 grand, I think. Honestly, do him. Do him. I think as a CDM, he'll be unbelievable. It's like a CDM that I class as like a CDM. Not a ball playing CDM. A CDM that likes to break play up and just give the ball to someone better than them that's on the ball. I, t I can't recommend this card enough. Medium high work rates, four star weak foot, three star skills. Get this card, man. If you're running a BPL team, get this card. You won't regret it. Now, that is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like and the subscribe button. Tomorrow's video will be how to see out a lead. I hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you next time. Peace.